Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life. All right. Um, <clears throat> morning hats. Brendo, how are you? I'm pretty well. Do I have to look at you while I'm doing this? This is weird. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Okay. What are we doing? What are we here for? What We're is this? To, what is this? It's another Bitcoin podcast. That's what we should have called it. Yeah, I should have done, actually. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. What do we want to do? Who are you? Do you want to introduce yourself? No, you go first. Oh, good. How far back do you want to go? Uh, I, if it was me, I'd want to know... I guess the background as to why, what led you to Bitcoin and... and what sh- led me to Bitcoin? Oh, that's a long way back. How long have you got? Um, okay, so I am Scottish, as people probably worked out by now. Um, I um, used to work in government. I did that for 10 or 12 years um, and gradually started to hate it. Um, and then moved to Australia in 2000. And and it would have been 13 um, and wanted to do something else so I was looking around for a lot of different things um, and I came across a business at the time that was only taking investments in Bitcoin I had no idea what Bitcoin was um, so we're, we're talking, that's we're talking now 15, 16 um, Is this when you were working in government? No, so I was uh, no, I was after we got here so um, but uh yeah, so I, I bought some Bitcoin to try and invest in a in a in a wacky online business, and so I was using it a currency early back back then, um, but um, I didn't get it. I didn't understand it as a savings vehicle. I didn't get any of that, um, and yeah, so that was fifteen, and I did that. So I probably bought sort of quite a bit of Bitcoin and spent quite a bit of Bitcoin, um, and only really started to learn in probably. Well, seventeen with a run up, so, but um, but then probably more eighteen as it started to fall back. So and so back in the day, I'd been listening to, um, uh, like uh, what was the guy called? Um, Mad Bitcoins, Thomas Hunt and Vortex and Kaiser, and um, uh, Stacy, um, and then so yeah, and that's that was that would have been from eighteen and what are we now twenty one. So um, three years of just constant listening to other people do a podcast. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, it seemed. Like a good time to do a podcast. So anyway, that's me. What about you? Okay. Um, so I've also worked for government for a number of years. Um, I still do. Uh, I suppose my entry into Bitcoin was thankfully through you, Hats. Mm. Forever, but not the first time. Forever grateful. What do you mean? Well, the first time was at a, a party. Um, when I told you, you asked me about Bitcoin and I told you a little bit about Bitcoin, you weren't interested at all. And then you, oh, came, yeah, and then no. you came back a yeah, 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 long yeah, yeah. later, a bit later. Yeah, no. I, but at no point did I think you were a fucking wacky friend, even though you, I know you remember your wife sort of saying, oh, he's on going on about uh, Bitcoin again, because yeah. I was genuinely interested. So um, Then? Oh, definitely. I was just, okay. well, just to learn about it, because okay. I had no real idea. I remember years ago, somebody, um, I was helping somebody, and they came in um, to do something for their son who was working in the mines in Western Australia and was looking at Bitcoin mining, and I thought, oh, I might... Might check that out. Never did, and that would have been twenty fourteen. It was think. early, yeah. so that's probably about the first time I even heard Fuck like thirteen, hell. fourteen, and didn't pay any attention yeah. whatsoever. Anyway, so everyone has those stories. Yep. Um, yeah. So anyway, so I think it was was at the end of right at the end of twenty nineteen. I think I might have started to talk to you. We went. Yeah. You actually sat down with me. We went for lunch, yeah. and you explained. You know, from the very start, what is money? Which was history? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. It was good. It was great. I needed that. I think which, everybody needs that. Exactly. And I think, and and part of my journey is actually kind of really realizing how much I didn't know about money. Like I thought I knew what money was, and I absolutely fucking didn't. None of us. None of us knew anything. Um, like the school system, um, is not designed to teach you about money, and and your professional life is not designed to teach you about money. And frankly, bankers that where they have only one job. To look after the money, most of them don't understand what money is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's crazy, right? It is crazy. Um, yeah. So anyway, so my first, um, I think, investment was February twenty twenty. Um, investment. Oh, for, as in actually buying some Bitcoin. Sorry. Okay. 
That's, that's all right. Oh, yeah. Um, which was interesting because then uh, March happened uh, and everything kind of went to shit. But oh, hang it, on. So your first buy was just before... Yes. The start of COVID. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, and it, which was a great... That was my first kind of... So um, you saw a bit of a fall immediately? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I saw... Okay. I, I, I was losing what... I was losing money, but... <laughs> you must have hated but, me. No, not at all. Like, I didn't... I felt... I don't know. I've always been... I'm not, I'm not a gambler, but I've always... Again, and it may come from my misunderstanding of what money is. I've I've never really valued it up until now. So the fact that I put money into Bitcoin and it went down almost immediately, it didn't really disturb me because I thought, well, that's not my money now. It's in somewhere. And I mean, I had obviously had pretty much daily chats and messages with you and you were always putting my mind at ease. Um, it helps. It helps if you've got some zealot behind you to... Um keep you confident right yeah because oh, yeah, yeah. i was very much reliant on as i say like wacky internet people mm. uh, back in the day and that was it's very difficult to get build your confidence. to me it took people a lot longer to build the confidence back then because you really were thinking you were crazy i mean you, you were um and for all that the opportunity was way greater the price was way lower um the certainty was way less yeah so um, yeah, I mean, you like you know, look at the pizza story or whatever. I mean, there's some guy who had the Bitcoin to sell the pizza. Some guy was accept- accepting, but that was crazy back then. So like, people were ten thousand like, ten thousand Bitcoin, I think it was. Yeah. So and people laugh about that, but um, but right, frankly, the only people that should be laughing are the people who who did it. Like the people who are laughing at them are the ones who should be being laughed at. Who got ten thousand Bitcoin? Well, both ways. Like yeah, you either yeah. had been ten thousand Bitcoin. I don't know why we're saying talking about. This. Yeah. But you either had t- you, you either had 10,000 Bitcoin to buy pizzas or you were prepared to accept them. Yeah. So those people are geniuses, both of them. Yeah. Right, everybody else is an idiot, Yeah. <laughs> including me. But um, so you started buying and then started buying a bit more and I started telling you more things and telling you where to read and who to avoid and, you know, sharing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and then, sorry, I'm jumping in. Is okay? No, no, you got it. Um, so I thought, well, this is good. Finally, I've got somebody who's willing to listen to me. Um, sorry to anybody that's willing to listen, but thanks for joining in. Um, so I thought, well, this is impossible. Well, it was great. Like, it was good for me, but at the time, it was a lot, right? We spent a lot of time and we you know, went back and forward and I thought, you cannot scale um, doing this with everybody you know. I mean, you try, you talk to many of your family and friends as you can, but you couldn't spend this amount of time with everyone. So I thought, well... I should have a little website, so I did made a little website, and um, I'm not technical at all, but um, it's there and it's it's up and it's 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 hopefully helpful for some people, um, and then I guess this is mm. sort of the natural progression from that. Yeah, well, when I get, and we talked about it, sort of leading up to actually doing a podcast as to why why we wanted to do it, and um, I guess from my point of view, when I sort of first started listening to pods, there was it's like a lot, you know. There's still a lot. There's more and more, I suppose, every week. Um, but that's a good that's, thing. I like yeah, oh, no, listens, not, yeah, totally. listens to this. That's fine. But um, it's a good thing that there are loads of pods because people want to come at it from a different angle. Yeah, and but, everybody's got their own perspective. Yeah, but my my problem starting out um, is that they were much too technical yes. for me. Even yeah, you, you can find something that talks about what is money or what is Bitcoin, and um, yeah, it very quickly becomes or feels out of reach. So. So is that I'm the hope- idea of this? Well, well, We're trying me, to make well, it accessible for people? For me, it is. I I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I, we, we've talked about the fact that we pretty much chat every day about Bitcoin and why not just stick a couple of mics in front of us? Yes. Um, but for me, I'd like... If it was me going back 12 months or 18 months or whatever it was, um, I'd want access to something a bit more... S- not simple, but... Like but approachable? Plain language, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like Steph Stefan Lavera, he's... Awesome and amazing, yeah. Um, but sometimes he's just too technical for me. Yeah, he's, it's difficult, and, it, and you're, you can't jump from nothing to Stefan. No, totally. Um, and then there's other people that come up from different angles. Um, I mean, I love some of the, some of the pods are fantastic. I like Daniel Daniel Prince, brilliant. Mm-hmm. Um, I like his angle. I like John Ballas, um, Matt and Marty. But it depends which angle you come from. Mm. Um, and sometimes it's good to listen to different things on a different day. So, um, so I guess the idea of this is we'll have some chats. Hopefully, we'll bring in some other people at some point. Who yep. anybody else who wants to come in and join and yep. wants to share their story, how they got 
hear and give themselves a bit of a voice. If you don't, if you don't feel like you have a voice, you say you nobody to talk to because nobody will talk to you about Bitcoin. We can be those people. <laughs> um, but why now? Why now? Yeah. Why do Why do you want to? Why? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. It just feels. I suppose as we're approaching um, or increasing adoption, and and you know your your mum and dad investors know what know about Bitcoin. You know what I mean? Like even a, a year ago, there'd be a lot less people actually know what the fuck Bitcoin is, or have even heard of Bitcoin. And so, I guess it's t- yeah. it's tiny. It's a tiny percentage of people. Well, most people have heard the word, right? Let's start there. And that mo- that's where most of it drops off, right? Yeah, They've I then know. heard about all the horror stories that we've all heard. Um, and they have not a clue what it means. Yeah. They don't know what money is. Mm. Um, they assume Bitcoin is one of thousands of other coins. Mm. Just has to happens to be the most expensive one. Mm. Um, and they don't have a clue. Mm. And everybody starts there. And anybody who says they didn't start there is lying to you. Yeah. So... Um, there needs to be a point at which people can come in and just hear really normal stories. Yeah. Um, and the only thing for me is about now is like, I, I am an ad about doing this because I'm like, well, the website's good because you can kind of be distant and um, you don't have to engage with people directly. You know, you got your Twitter, but you, you know, it's anonymous profile, blah, blah, blah. So there's an, there's a problem with this um, in terms of doxing yourself. And I'm sure we will. Mm. At some stage, if anybody ever listens, you know, if anybody really cares enough to go find out who you are or who I am, I think they'll manage it. Mm. Um, so I think we're kidding ourselves if we think we're going to avoid that. But I just think there comes a point when you just see everything that's happening in the world. I just think there comes a point where you just have to speak. Um, and this is, I guess, over my well for me. You know, I mean, that's yeah. where I'm coming at it from. Um, and then hopefully that's helpful to somebody. Yeah. Um, I mean, I try and convince people. <laughs> every day yeah every day like hopefully like start with people i know and, yeah, yeah, yeah and as soon as there's a tiny little angle that somebody gives me a little gap for inserting my self in the conversation i do but and you try and it's hard to not get like overexcited oh I went, like, yeah. oh really let me tell you Sit yeah down. totally <laughs> totally it's um a mate of mine was telling me a mate of mine in scotland was telling me yesterday that um so he's in, doesn't understand bitcoin at all um that he was um I was telling me about the supply shortages in the, the supermarkets um, oh, in Scotland. Yeah. No, everything. Oh, yeah. so, so, and he's saying, you know, it's it's COVID, it's Brexit, it's blah blah blah. And I'm like, mate, it's the money. <laughs> it's the money. Yeah. Like, um, the money's broken. You need to buy it because, like, that was me. I was, I was immediately there. And he's like, oh, I'm worried about it. I don't want to. You know, I don't. I don't. I'm not interested. I don't know. I said, tell you what. So I'll speak to you over the weekend. I'll send you some Bitcoin. Well, just, 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 just gamble with my money. Don't worry, worried about it. Gamble with mine. Over Lightning? Or I haven't it? done it. We haven't done it. We're oh, going yeah. to do it this weekend. Yeah. So we'll get a... Yeah, but, but yes, we'll do it over Lightning. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and just put some, a little bit in somebody's hands Yeah. and let them learn themselves. Like the only way you're going to learn is if you've got a little bit. And it, two bucks. Yeah, it's funny though, because even when, I know when we first played with Wallet of Satoshi and just, just transferred and we were astounded by that mind blowing but, but exactly but I don't I don't know that everybody feels that level of amazement because they don't without understanding what they've, they've done yeah it's just numbers on a phone you know do you know it's okay oh I've so, got yeah. this number no you might be I mean not. I don't think everyone gets it and again I guess this comes back to this as a motivation for this kind of podcast is to communicate the the absolute potential of Bitcoin and the Lightning Network, how awesome oh, that is. It's incredible. I mean, like, the store of value side of things, you know, you want to, you know, you got $1,000 in the world and you want to chuck 500 of that into Bitcoin and store it and keep it and hopefully it maintains its value over time, which I think it will grow significantly. But, like, that's great and everything. That's wonderful. But um, the transactional value when people are, for people, some people never going to use it as a store of value and that's it. They're just going to, they don't have a value to store, mm. right? Mm. Um, or they might not yet have a value to store, right? Mm. Um, and one day they will because of this, which is just, that's just life changing. Mm. And um, yeah, I mean, ultimately it'll become a trend, I believe it'll become a transactional currency for all of us, but it's not for, well, you know, we're in Australia, you know, Scotland or you know the you know the developed Western world generally it's a store of value, mm. um, and it says just somewhere you can. But over time, 
Like the El Salvador stuff is just massive. People have no idea. But just the concept, just the concept of traveling overseas and not having to exchange currencies, all that kind of shit. Totally. You just just go anywhere the fuck you want. Yeah. All right, you accept Bitcoin? Yep. Which they will. It's brilliant. Everybody will. I mean, I uh, I've paid a guy in <laughs> on the main chain. I've paid a guy in Venezuela for an advert once, um, using Bitcoin. Mm. And I like. And I'd had Bitcoin for a long time before I did that. And I was like, and I mean, immediately I, you know, bought it back on, you know, went on and bought it back. But, um, but yeah, it blew my mind when I paid him because no, I didn't ask anyone. I, he didn't, he was quite happy to get it. Um, I, I don't know. It just, it's mind blowing. Once you, once you see of some sort of practical use, here's an example, right? Um, my mother is not technical at all. Um, would claim, would say that she would never be technical. But then we moved to Australia. Um, I have a sister who also lives in Australia. She wants to communicate with us. We want to communicate with her. And all of a sudden, she works it out, mm. right? Mm. Because there's a value in it for her. Yeah. There's a value in it for me. Yeah. So once people find whatever the value is for them, mm. it's going to be huge. Mm. You imagine you're a, going off on a bit of a tangent, obviously, but you know, you imagine you're a a family man from El Salvador who's had to go to the States for to earn a living, to mm. send money back to the family, you're making, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever you're making and you're sending it back and 60 or 70 or 75 or something dollars makes it back mm. and all of a sudden that's 99.9. Yeah. That's changing those people's world. Yeah. Um, and that's, yeah, I couldn't be happier about that. But um, even the safety aspect too, you know, like mm. not having to go down to a Western Union or whatever they have over there. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Incredible. Um, um, so, who do we if we're going to take have people on the show let's call it a show um, who do we want to have on um, for me I want people that can fairly simply explain various aspects of Bitcoin okay because if it, again if it was me listening to this um, 18 months ago I, that's what I'd want I and I've said to you before somewhere along the line I want somebody Unless hmm. you can do it, somebody to come in and go, right, why Bitcoin and not Ethereum? Why Bitcoin, not Cardano? Or, well, not, not all of them, because we can't yeah, go through 11,000. Well, that's the problem. Where do you stop? Where do you, where do you... Just just the top four or five, you know, because yep. I mean, you and I are maxis. There's, I don't know that we're going to get maxis, all maxis listening to this, and I'm sure we won't. Mm-hmm. We're going to get people that want to know what Bitcoin is. Well, you're not is. a maxi. Nobody's a maxi until they learn, right? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't a maxi. No, but I, look... I, I became I'll, a maxi. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true, true. But yeah. I, I was lucky enough to have you to kind of, you know shepherd me a little bit i mean i started when i started getting bitcoin i bought i think it was 100 bucks of ethereum 100 bucks of xrp just to see what happens and then <sighs> yeah i know i know i'll edit that out <laughs> um oh, i did too like i had some litecoin early days i've never owned ethereum that's my claim to fame i've never had any ethereum. oh yeah yeah <laughs> but i did have a little bit of litecoin and um and i don't anymore but you know ever. what like, i'm kind of wear that as a badge of honor in a way to say that look i that was a learning experience for me. I bought a little bit. Um, I very quickly learned and I got rid of it because it has no value or well, purpose. It, okay. I'll be controversial here. There's people like that, not like this. Um, some of them may be technology product, uh, projects, right? So there may be some technological interesting thing happening there. This is as far as I'm probably going to go. Um, don't none talk, of don't those, talk about NFTs. No. Um, JPEGs, you mean? <laughs> the um, no, I mean, but none of those things. I don't even believe they're trying to be a money, right? And if the problem, the biggest problem that exists for everyone everywhere right now is the money, you can see it manifesting in across all. People don't see it; they don't see the connection. But that's the pro. The problem is the money. Once, um, so Bitcoin solves the money problem. Yeah, and. That's the problem I want to solve. Yes. So if there are other things that are technologically interesting, fair enough. I don't mind if people go and do that and mess around. and what, It won't be for me, but if they want to do that, and, and I think anything that becomes interesting, genuinely interesting, will find itself as a layered solution on Bitcoin. But um, but we do need those people. And so if somebody is you know, doing something like that and they want to talk, if they're not coming on to shell us something, then fine, sure. But other than that, it's a Bitcoin podcast. Oh, no, totally. I, yeah, I don't want someone in here to tell me why, uh, I don't know. No. Fuck coin is better than Bitcoin. No, I don't know where the mute button is, but, but that's where it, that's yeah. where I'll deploy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but 
um, again, for me, I still don't understand, and I don't want to necessarily understand all these fucking shit coins, but I don't understand why so many people like Ethereum, why so many people like Cardano. Because, and I wanted, I want that differentiation. I mean, we can do, we can do that. You can, I'm sure you can wax lyrical on a lot of them, um, but there's got to be someone out there that can just go right. Oh, I bet, yeah, I don't yeah, spend yeah. a lot of time this, on it. This is why it is Bitcoin only. I mean, I mean, I believe it. You believe it. I can't articulate it. That's my problem. If, if you know, I've got my sh- my shit coining friend. Yes. Um, if he was to then sort of say to me, you know why don't you like this or why don't you like that? Or he gives me some response as to why X coin is serves this purpose. I find it really hard to argue back half the time without going to, to the kind of have you ever heard so many, principles of Bitcoin. Have you ever heard somebody um, give a really good, it serves this purpose. I've like, literally, I don't think I've no, ever I've heard, never heard like, a good one because I don't understand what the fuck they're saying. And they're using the yeah. same kind of jargon, you know, along the way that I still don't understand. That's, that's, but that's know, the whole, that's, that's the whole game. Like that's, I mean, as a guy who used to work in government, you know, that's the, the game is the jargon, right? If you jargon people out of it, um, you know, you, you just create acronyms to make yourself sound more intelligent or, or, and keep other people are here. Here's an example, right? I used to work in government procurement, right? Mm, mm. Um, and I had a meeting one day with a, with a, with a supplier and we had a, a young girl who was oh, not hugely younger than me but like she'd have been I don't know she was at university and she was just studying history right mm, mm. and she knew nothing about government or procurement she was there as a summer job and she I needed somebody to take notes so she came in right um, smart smart girl but um, but knew nothing about what we were doing she was just there a, as a sort of summer job um, and at the end after the meeting she came to me and she said um that was actually more interesting than I re- thought it was going to be. Well, it was just kind of <laughs> positive. But she says, I didn't understand this, this, and this. Yeah. Can you explain that to me? And basically, a 20 a year old girl who knew nothing about nothing, and I don't mean that in a disparaging way, that's just you know, the situation. Um, she pinpointed the three biggest flaws we probably had in our department. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And the reason is because she just asked a simple, straightforward question. And I didn't have, a, I was bluffing. I was like bumbling my way through the answer because because I had no answer. There was no answer. But most most people are. You fake it till you make it in these kinds it's, of roles. Ah, it's bullshit. Though. It is bullshit. I just can't live with it anymore. Like it's, um, like just speak. <laughs> I'm maybe not the most concise person in the world, but just, just be honest in what you say and speak plainly. Yeah. And you'll find that good things happen. Yeah. Because um, people... Like, I'm sure I've said to you some things, and it's happened to me, right? Cause, so I'm probably a little bit further along in terms of the maxi journey than you are even now. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, As far as toxicity, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't... But and there's people way beyond me, right? Oh, yeah. No, way no. beyond me. But um, it's... Uh, where was I going with that? I derailed you with uh, toxic maxi. So you're saying uh, you're quite the maximalist more more you know more more far along than me yeah i don't know what my point was no it doesn't matter it doesn't matter just well if you spoke plainly and simply yeah i was just this is this is this is honest this is this is what happens is you know you well that's maybe that's a point too to make with this podcast our plan is that we're not actually look we're not editing we're not cutting we're not doing no. anything so it's, i mean if one of finish, us there's going to be fuck ups one of us might fart who knows yeah if if um you've probably I've me. noticed you've I don't think I've sworn yet I feel really conscious about that I've noticed oh. you have sworn a few times oh, sorry. and I probably do swear more I don't know maybe, maybe I don't maybe you swear more than me but um I will at some point once I feel com- feel com- comfortable well now that you flagged that with me that means I'm gonna feel really my con- kids conscious. can't my kids can't listen to this pod oh okay well like, yeah. oh no no yeah, yeah they, they can. can all right speak plainly to them yes yeah, exactly like, that's it yeah, that's yeah. it um like just be honest with them um so yeah that's what we're gonna try and do. Um, the only thing, well, the only thing about your editing thing, I totally, hundred percent agree. Yeah. Um, I think if one of us clearly doxes ourselves in a really negative, oh, yes. in a really negative way, no doubt. Um, I think we should probably, you know. But other than that, no. Nah. Um, and I think if and if we do end up having a guest or two or whatever we have on, um, and somebody really goes really goes on the sales pitch, yeah, I think we might do a bit edit, not editing, but like 
No, no, we shutting it down. Or we just cut them off. Yeah, okay, <laughs> cut, yeah, fair enough. Okay, so all right. Um, so, what was the last pod you listened? What did you listen to on the way up in the car? Nothing. Nothing. No, that's that's a bad answer. But yeah, that's a bad answer. Nothing. So my answer is worse than nothing. No, no, just because I like I <laughs> I was in the car, and it, for whatever reason the Bluetooth wasn't working, and I just wasn't pulling over to do it because okay. I'm a good citizen. Okay, well, oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a compliant citizen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's you. That's you. Um, um, no, sorry. The last pod. I'm a, I'm halfway through. Um, it's Preston and Andy Edstrom in. Um, uh, it's interesting. I'm trying Edstrom. to think who he's with. Who they're with? Is it? No, it's not Daniel Prince, is it? Well, Daniel did a. I, oh, I don't know. I don't think I listened to that one. But I listened. I just listened to Daniel and Andy. Andy did a. He did. Daniel did a Andy's back great. story. Andy's really good. With a, yeah, I think he's good. So. Um, it's funny that, and it becomes like with pods now. It, you have your favourite. So when a new one comes up, like if I hear Preston, I'll immediately find it and, and listen to it. You know. But I only listen. You only listen to Wednesday, right? Like, why would you listen to anything else? Oh, the investors podcast. Yeah. Is it only once? I thought it was twice a week. Oh, maybe, well, maybe it is. Yeah, yeah, I'll totally, keep up I, yeah, yeah. No, I think I thought it was only no, Wednesday. I don't know. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I, of course. I'm not listening to other stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I don't understand how that he, he, yeah, how he continues to do that. But anyway, that's, that's what it is. Oh, so, uh, you know what we forgot? What we, forget? we didn't um, sort of start with our sponsors. So uh, here's a, a message <laughs> from <laughs> our amazing sponsors. And that's it. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be. <laughs> All right, so if NMD does want to come on and have a chat. Yes, please. What would they do? They would either contact us probably on Twitter. So it's where all the good stuff I, starts. That's right. Um, so either at Bitcoin Brendo or at Stacking Hats. Yep. Or you can use the two bit idiot um, Twitter handle, which is just. Do you want to spell that out? I don't remember what it is. Well, I have to look it up. So talk, <laughs> sing, sing them a song while, you, um, while, I, while I do that. I'll um, do the the backing track. Oh, well, there you are actually singing them a song. Well done. So, yeah, it's just two, the number two, bit, B-I-T, idiots, I-D-I-O-T-S. Um, send us a message and um, we'll try and get you on and we'll have a chat. And we're really, genuinely, 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 I know you're saying you want to understand um, things um, explained simply, and I do too, because there's plenty that I don't understand still. Um, but, um, yeah, I want to understand how people got to where they got how they got to well why how they got to here like how, why are they bloody listening in the first place right so like and what piqued their interest and um you know if, there, if there's something they feel that's sort of unique to themselves that that got them here like I, I really struggle with people who i you know you can just talk and you're just talking to a wall like mm. why is it that with some people you're just talking you, you could be as polite kind um, thoughtful as you can possibly be and try and just in, explain something to them but yet still they won't listen yet whereas other people are quite receptive to it and you know a lot of them got them by themselves yeah. I did yeah. you pretty much did I mean you came to me yeah. um, but other people are you know there's other people doing that too so what's the why Why does that happen I think there's a, I think there's a level of apathy increasingly these days where people just can't be bothered not interested yeah. because it's like oh it's too hard it's in the too hard but yeah so maybe it's in the too hard basket but is it in the too hard basket because their life is a nightmare and they're having to juggle a hundred other things and they've got no time to think about this no it's and more likely that they're comfortable where they are or there's at that the, at the moment <laughs> yeah I think there's both yeah I think there's a bit of both yeah alright alright we good we're good I don't even know how long that went for I have not a clue I have okay. not a clue but um, cool thanks for tuning in and we'll maybe hear you when we speak to you again Good afternoon, good evening, and goodbye.